Hi, I'm Ethan. I love muzzleloading. Today we're shooting the cabin fever challenge. I'm going to send it over to Ethan at the Action News Desk to fill you in. Thanks, Ethan. Hi, I'm Ethan. I love muzzleloading. And once again, the Cabin Fever Challenge is here to amaze and humble. This year, Ethan is competing in his full 18th century kit down to the colonial buckle shoe. Now, Ethan has made a surprising move this year. He's once again competing with a muzzleloader he has not shot before. Team manager Ethan and coach Ethan are still struggling to understand this decision. Ethan is using his new Northwest trade gun built by Brian Kaufman of Pennsylvania. It features a 62 caliber smooth bore with no choke. Under the hood, this muzzleloader features a finely tuned and rapidly fast chambers lock. As for wheels on this beast, it looks like Ethan is using 70 grains of 2F black powder with wasp nest wadding under and above the ball to keep it in place. Our target for this match is an eight inch black circle posted at 50 yards. He's preparing for the first shot, taking a deep breath as he posts up. Away we go. The first shot is downrange and Ethan is already back at the horn preparing for the second shot. I'm going to send you live to our range correspondent for the details. Ethan, did that first shot make a connection? Not with the target, Ethan, but we do have a hole in the target backer at about 7 o'clock below the actual target. There's no telling what's going through Ethan's mind at this point in the match. Fascinating. Ethan, have you heard anything from the range about Ethan's plans for the second shot? Lots of murmurs here in the pits, Ethan. Word here among the team is that the goal is to hit the black section of the target. Otherwise, he won't score any points. And that would be embarrassing. Now in the kneeling position, Ethan lets another shot rip down range. Quickly, he's back up into the horn, preparing for shot three. Ethan, are you seeing any connections with the target down range? Not with the target, Ethan, but we do have a hole in the target backer at about seven o'clock below the actual target. Yikes, why doesn't this guy pick something he's familiar with or at least practice before this match? Our sources here on the range say that Ethan may have lost his mojo when it comes to muzzleloading competition. Gone soft, perhaps. He's not shooting the simulators as much as he used to, and he's taken to trying to get a good night's rest between each day. That's not a great combo if you want to win this course. The fans are not going to like this performance if it keeps trending this way. This episode sponsored by the new Killer Be Killed mug from ilovemuzzloading.com. I drew this design and I, I put it on the mug. The mug is made here in the USA. It's made by hand up in Wisconsin. If you like the design, we've also got some hats, stickers, and shirts too. Ethan is now in the prone position, a sure bet for any marksman. He lets the shot rip. Ethan, are my eyes deceiving me here? Not at all, Ethan. It looks like that shot actually broke below the backer. Now, what you're seeing here, the red backer that this target is posted on, is a regulation steam cleaning advertisement that Ethan found on the side of the road. He is used to shooting at this backer as well as the eight inch bull inside it. I'd like you to hear some team chatter at this time, but it is not suitable for TV. You could say that everybody from the range mower Ethan to the team principal Ethan is gonna be walking away from this match with their heads held low. Sometimes I'm surprised this man is willing to put such low performance out on the public internet. That's YouTube for you. Rounding the final curve in the track, Ethan appears to be in the seated position. The pan is primed and he's posted up on both knees. It takes courage to finish a race this bad. By George, he's done it. Ethan, I'm here at the range and the crowd has erupted like I've never seen before just milliseconds. After the shot broke, a hole appeared in the eight ring of the black target between eight and nine o'clock and the crowd is absolutely losing their minds. At just over two minutes and 50 seconds, Ethan has fired four shots from his Northwest trade gun and managed to get one hit on target. Let's get the live commentary from the marksman as he walks up to the target. What do you think, Ethan? Classic performance. We've got uh, two shots low. I think probably one shot way low <laughs> and then one on our paper there. All in all, really, as always, a lot of fun with the Cabin Fever Challenge. It's a great challenge and it really puts your skills and abilities to the test. As usual, I'd like to perform a little bit better, but I think it sets the tone. And something I've been thinking about a lot this year is I want to focus more on accuracy and getting better 
with my muzzleloader. So this is gonna really set the tone for the start of the year for us here. Once again, I'm Ethan. And I'm Ethan. And I'm Ethan. I love muzzleloading. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.